America's return to the moon is set to get underway Monday morning with the launch of NASA's Artemis. ABC's Morgan Norwood is in Florida where she spoke with some of the people who are excited to see the launch. The excitement is growing as the countdown for America's return to the moon gets underway. I'm very pumped. So I was actually a part of the test team that tested the functionality of the rocket and the avionics. It's like seeing your work right here, you know. NASA's Artemis 1 is expected to blast off Monday morning from the Kennedy Space Center. We ran into some tiny experts who were willing to discuss the mission with us. What do you know about this rocket? Where's it going to go? To the moon? That's far. Yeah. And no astronauts on it. No astronauts? This is the test flight. The plan is for the most powerful rocket in the world, the SLS, to carry the Orion capsule into orbit. It'll go around the world once, then toward the moon, looping around the moon once before coming back to Earth. This is uh, really a test flight. We're stressing the system. This is uh, really that the risk is not low uh, on this uh, on this mission. The last manned flight to the moon was Apollo 17 back in 1972. Ross McKenzie has lived in that area since 1966 and remembers the Apollo launch as well. Something good will come out of it. I don't think we knew all the discoveries, inventions, progress we'd make even from our first time to the moon. This first mission is expected to take about 42 days to complete before returning to Earth. If all goes well with this test flight, by 2024, Americans could be going to the moon to stay. This mission being successful is a, a sign to the world and to the American people that, that we've been doing our best with, with your resources. I'm so proud of what is happening in terms of our space program and the leadership that the United States is providing to the world. I'm very excited to be here. Looking forward to tomorrow. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Cape Canaveral.